Mm. So what would be a sign of life? Something swimming up saying hi, or you're going to do chemistry and maybe find microbes? That's a great timing to invite our science read, Morgan Cable. <laughs> Hello. Okay, good, good. Great good. to meet you. Good. Uh-huh. We are hoping to include a variety of payloads that could both look for chemical signatures of life as well as potential morphology biosignatures. Those would be like cells or bits of cells and potentially some metabolic indicators as well. If we find food or things that microbes have left behind, those would be the types of biosignatures we'd look for. So what's the largest organism you would conceivably find? Because on Earth, we went billions of years with just microbes. We did. And only later did we get big. So, but that's been around for billions of years as well. It's a great question. Typically, we look to examples of Earth, as you know, to try to model and give guesses of what might exist. And for us, for places like Enceladus, we look to hydrothermal vents down at our seafloor. There, you see more than just microbes. We find rich communities that include you know, shellfish and-, and Right, crabby looking things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and those, uh, what are those, those tube worms? Those can live to be yeah. 200 years old. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Amazing. Okay. So, All of those capacities to test for life, are they gonna be built into the eel? That is the idea, that each module of eels could include a science payload or it could include other things that the robot needs to move and sense its environment. Wow.